have gotten over 100 messages a day from people telling me, "Hey, Alice, why didn't this trick work out? Why didn't that trick work out?" And it's constantly the same exact mistakes over and over and over again. And absolutely, I need to make this video. This is the top four mistakes that happened every single day I see traders making that beginners must know. If 90% of day traders are failing and they are all making the exact same mistakes, and I have access to their mistakes because they sent me messages. I'm going to share that with you guys because that's very important to know. It's upper important to know how to trade, but it's also equally important to know how not to trade. Let's just jump right into it. The first most common mistake is people trying to trade these divergences and not wait for a trend line to break. Listen, when the price is trending down, right? And still creating lower lows, it's constantly lower lows, and on our side, it's making higher lows. This is a trending market, and you are trying to fight a trending market. You need to wait for the trend line of trending market to break before you get into a divergence trade. What that looks like is this: we have a trend line, we have the price lower lows. We have the higher lows on our side, and the trend line is broken, retested, and went up. So we need to wait for the price break this yellow line and retest it. The next, and literally the worst mistake that every single trader have made in their life, and that you are probably still making in trading without a stop loss. It is literally the stupidest thing that you can do, and I'm gonna show you exactly why. Right here, market was in the uptrend. You see this big bearish candle down break the trend line. You was like, I'm going to sell trade at this point, and I'm not going to put a stop loss. So that's what my trade looks like. Enter trade, and I'm going to go and grab a cup of coffee, and then I'm going to watch this thing. Play out and you come back. Few minutes later, your account is either completely at zero and blown, or you are in such deficit that it hurts your gut because you didn't trade with a stop loss. If you would have had a proper stop loss on here, you know you would have lost one percent as opposed to one hundred percent. This is the difference between a good trader and a bad trader. Now, mistake number three. Like everybody, pretty much go through this. You see the potential of trading forex, and you were like, "If I start with twenty dollars account, I'm not going to really make any money. So it's not worth my time." That's where you wrong. That's where you are learning. So what people tend to do is take one thousand dollars or five thousand dollars from their saving account. They are like with a five thousand dollars account, I can trade one whole lot size. I'm gonna make a ton of money on every single trade. And that's the first time you've gotten trading real money, and you don't understand the emotional aspect and the psychology that comes behind trading with real money, and it's gone. You literally just throw them away. So what I need you guys to know is stop depositing so much money and actually start off with twenty dollars account or that fifty dollars account. Only trade money that you are absolutely willing to lose because the first time you put money into the market, I one hundred percent guarantee you, you are going to lose that money. But you are going to learn so much from that experience. Mistake number four: I say people making is way, way, way too many indicators in your chart. Usually it looks like this. I know that there's millions of indicators on trading view, but that does not mean that you need to use them all. All you need is to pick a strategy and pick one or two indicators that really gives you the confluence that you need to enter your trade. Having your chart looks like this is going to make you confused because a lot of these oscillators and the momentum indicators. They're literally just telling you the same thing. You have eight indicators on the bottom half of the chart that show you the exact same thing. Stop doing it. Clean up your chart. Use a couple of moving averages and one oscillator. That's all you need. 
Okay, if you guys enjoyed this video and you got some values out of it and you like the way I teach, consider subscribing to the channel by hitting the bell icon and leave us a like to show your support. I will see you next time. Bye.